Welcome back! Let's see if I can get lucky again and not die. Okay, here's kind of uh, an annoying area is coming up. First off, there's a giant box of arrows here. What is the purpose of that? Why would they have that here on this ship? I do not know. It just furthers my fear theory that this is actually reused blimp. Now, uh, I'm blowing up these uh, oil drums around here because... Uh, we're going to be getting into a fight in this area, and having these around can be quite detrimental, I assure you. Okay, collect the essence, since it won't stick around long enough for me to use it, and I'd probably just accidentally collect it anyways. Now, as soon as we turn the crank a little, these guys jump in. These are black SWAT team members, but they don't have the shields. Makes them a bit easier to deal with. And shit, that guy over there is a rocket launcher, or grenade launcher. Haha! -ha. Die, man! Damn it! That was essence wasted. Ah! I hate the assholes with grenade launchers. Actually, that is a rocket launcher. Never mind. And I died. Way to go! But hey, you know what the good news is? We're right next to the save point, so I don't have to do any sort of um, stopping the recording and restarting it. Let's try that all again. Come on. Chapter 3, Skies of Vengeance. And I just remembered. Death count! 44. Damn it. Pen. Work. There we go. 44. Let's go try that again. With a little less failure. And a lot more success. Middle cabin. And, um, whatever the hell this place is. I think this is the cargo bay. Okay, blow these up again. These usually go to hinder you rather than help you. I think you can knock enemies into them, but it's too difficult to try and pull off, so you're better off just not trying. Okay, let's try this again. Whoop! What? Hey! Cut it out! Duck! Rocket launcher, asshole. Eh, flying swallow, are you? Do that, whatever, that works. Just kill these guys. Haha! -ha! Okay, that's two guys dead, and I want to collect their essence, actually. It'd be smarter to use an ultimate technique, but I like the, to have money. Whoa! Oh. That was rare, he didn't die. It take that. And this. Stop doing that. It, it, yay. Cut it out. And stop firing guns at me. Haha! -ha. Take that! Whoop. Okay, will you stop guarding? You don't have a shield, stop doing that. Haha! -ha. I are expert. If I were smart, I'd go back and save, and I may just do that, but I want to take care of this first. Okay, so we open up the uh, cargo bay, and step out, and then immediately step back in, because those robots appear from out of nowhere. And also these guys appear. And you need to take them out with the bow, if I can stop failing. Ha! <laughs> I shot them into the uh, explosive drum. How cool is that? Anyways, I want to go collect mo more arrows, sensibly enough, because I'm out. Well, I had one left, but that wasn't going to do me much. Okay, now, if you get too close to these robots, they fire lasers at you. Or they can fire lasers at you from far away, if they feel like it. Anyways, it's better to take them out from here, where they usually don't hit you. Let's see, can I get that health? Come on, get the health. Yes. Mini school, yes, but anything helps, really. And I need to cough. <laughs> okay, let's save our game. Damn it, Ryu, save. Relatively simple tasks. Ryu Hayabusa cannot do them. New save! Alright, that's taken care of. Let's go die some more. 
Though surprisingly, my death toll has taken a huge downward curve since the first level. Kind of ironic, really. But trust me, there are going to be points in this playthrough where it skyrockets. Two points in specific that I can think of right now. There are some tougher points, but there are two points I know for sure that are just going to kill me over and over and over again. But we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Now, despite being a ninja, Ryu has the slowest... is the slowest, uh... Whatever the hell he's doing right now. He goes across bars really slowly. They actually fixed this in Ninja Gaiden Sigma 2. He moves much faster across bars in that game. But for some reason, he can't really figure out how to traverse them right in this game. Anyways, there's a guy right there. So we're gonna do that. That. Hopefully not fall off, because you can Oh shit, there are two of them. I didn't know that there was a second guy there. You gotta be careful, you can fall off here. I've seen it happen. I almost did it there! And I did it right there! Fail! Okay, so there's one for the books. 45. We'll try that again. Let's try not fucking this up completely this time. Okay, there's a guy over there, so get the arrow in. And actually, you know what? Just use arrows. This is safer. Arrows actually do pretty good damage. And do that. And I knocked him off. Good, good. Okay, don't open that chest over there. It contains exploding bats. I'd show it off, but since we're in this area, I could very likely fall off due to the explosion. Now let's see. Electro electronic controls. Hmm. There was a note saying earlier that if these were disengaged, uh, the locks will go off. Hmm. How to turn this off? Uh, uh. Oh, I know! Let's break it! Ha ha! You just, yeah, this is probably one of the funnier parts of the game. You just go in here and smash the shit out of the electronic paneling. It's kind of funny, really. Anyways, we'll leave there. And be really careful, because... Guess what? More SWAT team members. And that one over there has a rocket launcher, so... Or a bazooka, or whatever he's got. And he's dead. And we're going to use that... And use this. Haha. <laughs> See, that's good planning. I did something smart there. Now let's let's hope I don't be an idiot and accidentally like jump down from this or something. Now one thing I'd like to point out, um, I'm not sure if this would happen or not, but I'm pretty sure it would. Watch what Ryu does here. He drops down. Won't the ship, like, just go flying past him or send him hurling back into that, uh, back into the other side of the blimp? I mean, think about it. This blimp has to be going really fast. Wouldn't the, the sudden drop just send him flying backwards? I'm pretty sure something like that would happen in real life. But that's one of the lesser, uh, instances of Ryu breaking physics. There are some really good examples of it in Ninja Gaiden Sigma 2. I mean, some of them are just ridiculously stupid. Just look up some of the cutscenes in Ninja Gaiden Sigma 2, and you will see some of the r most ridiculous physic the physics bracing breaking by Ryu ever. Actually, in the first level, there's a pretty good one. He jumps off a building, falls for about 100 feet, and then sends himself hurling through a window at about 40 f 45 miles per hour, surprisingly not breaking any of his bones or get getting getting any cuts on his body. It's ridiculous. Anyways, there's a door back here, and now that the locks are off, we can actually go in it, but I want to save first, because in there is a really tough fight. And it's optional, but you want to do it, because you can get a very good reward for it. So let's save. I'm probably going to die a lot here, because um, these fights are really, really tough in Master Mode. Now, knowing exactly how many enemies you have to fight is generally, generally a reassuring thing. It lets you know how good you're doing and how much f farther you have to go. However, uh, this, this fight, where you do know how many you have to kill, is kind of crushing, really. In this room, SWAT team members start appearing. 
How many of them do I have to kill? 120. That's right, this is our introduction to the 120 Fiend Challenges. Now, technically, these guys aren't fiends, but uh, since the rest of the challenges have you fighting fiends, I don't think it's worth the name change just for these guys. So yeah, 120 enemies. You have to kill all of them, and when you do, you get a good reward. What do you get? Usually it's either a Life of the Gods or a Spirit of the Devils, which increases your Nimpo. There are the occasional lame ones, which give you, like, a uh, Talisman of Rebirth, which, when you weigh the gains and the losses, it's usually not worth it, but for the most part, doing these is worth your time. And I'm probably going to die here. Yeah. Okay, 46 deaths, but I wasn't really thinking of seriously taking this on in this first attempt. Because uh, these take a while. If you saw, I had 800 seconds on the clock there, so it could take me a while to do this. So uh, I'm probably going to end the video here, and uh, uh, I'll throw this together. And uh, when we come back, uh, the next video will be me doing the Fiend Challenge, and then proceeding through the level. So yeah, I'm going to take a little break, because I need to get my mental preparation for the 120 Fiend Challenge with the SWAT team. Who are technically not fiends, but... Like I said, one challenge, not worth the name change. Also no to note, this uh, Fiend challenge is actually new to Ninja Gaiden Sigma. Yeah, this was not in Ninja Gaiden Black or Ninja Gaiden. I guess that's why it's not a Fiend challenge per se, but whatever, it wasn't in the original games. So yeah, when we come back, we're going to be taking that on. So until next time, see ya.